realistic with them. We always have been. Nicole Taylor and her husband Ron have made their sons Landon and Egan fully aware of mom's battle with cancer. The diagnosis came in 2012. So I just thought it was stress, but um, we quickly learned that it was colon cancer. So I went through surgery at the end of 2012, started chemo in 2013, um, was in remission in 2014, but my last scan on December 29th showed that it had um, actually moved to my lungs. And now the cancer has metastasized to her brain, but that hasn't changed how her family fits in her heart. I want them to know that I love them more than they'll ever know, and that regardless if I can't be right there beside them, that I'm still there for them, regardless of whatever it is that they face. I have their books so that you can write in, write in their books. Nicole is getting help from Let There Be Mom, creating legacies for her children. That includes medallions with her thumbprint. And in a way, Nicole will be there when her boys get married and wear cufflinks crafted in part from her wedding dress. We just want to be able to help them to put together their legacy, their hopes, their dreams, their wishes. We want people to come to us early mm -hmm. so that they have energy and clear thoughts and are able to you know, gather the items for us. Nicole says she regrets she waited this long. I don't think that I ever thought this point would come, to be honest with you. The Taylors have battled cancer before. Landon was diagnosed with leukemia at the age of three, but in his case, the cancer vanished. Leukemia statistics for children are in the 90 percent. Um, colon cancer for 32 year olds, no family history is not as high. While time may not be on Nicole's side, her family's faith forever will be. If God decides to take me home, then he's going to give them the strength to get through it. Myra Ruiz, WYFF News 4.